we are here with Cristina Gonzalez, that she's uh, uh, radiological protection at Berkeley and Gia, and you are dealing with the environment, yeah. correct? Yes, and radiological protection uh, issues. Okay, so something uh, that is uh, obviously very important for uh, an uranium mine uh, is very sensitive is uh, the environment issues. So the project, the Salamanca mine, uh, is going to meet all the high standard, yes. environmental standard. Yeah. Um, would you m maybe explain a little bit about how you are going to do that? What are the problems you are facing and how you can meet all these high standards okay. so there won't be any problem? Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, Berkeley is um, highly concerned with environmental and, and radiological protection um, issues. So um, we, are, we are following all the, the standards like from, from EIA or a nuclear regulatory commission in the United States and of course even, even our own legislation. So we are compliant with, with, um, with everything and with every standard. Um, what we are doing now before any um, activity or any mining activity um, is to measure like every thing that could be potentially contaminated in the future uh, in order to, in a, in a future, detect any potential um, issue that can occur due, the, due to the uh, different activities. So um, we take, con mm, take me measurement control of water and dust and sampling in order to, to establish um, um, a background uh, in the future with, the, with all the activities we are going to, to start. Um, we, we will compare the, the environmental and um, the environmental levels which are now and which are going to be in the future and then we can control if we are doing something that can be um, modified and we will do it. So now we are taking all the measurements we can and then in the future we will continue to take in that measurement in order to compare them and in order to detect if something is going wrong and, and can control it. And uh, I believe the regulation, they are quite strict and they are putting yeah. quite a lot of pressure on, uh, you know, on your job and all the projects. Yeah, I mean, um, we are an uranium mine, so we have all the environmental issues and, and all the um, radiological issues concerning Nuclear Safety Council. So we are being audited always by the Nuclear Safety Council. So what we do is supervise yeah. for, for the, for the uh, competent bodies. Uh, which are um, the environmental bodies here in the community and in in a state level nuclear safety council and, and the and the minister would you would you maybe explain a little bit how this checking they um, they happen you know how often um, people come to check your activities well we we are we, we take measurements uh, in a weekly basis in a monthly basis um, every three months, depend on, on what, which kind of, um, of measurements we are taking. Um, and Nuclear Safety Council, they can come wherever they want. I mean, they just call and, and say, okay, we are going to go to, to supervise what, 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 what you are doing. Um, we make quality control of the samples we are taking. So 10% of the samples that we take, they go to quality control in order to, uh, to to be sure that, w that what we are measuring is what it is. Um, and we have our own um, quality control system that the enterprise supervise us and um, a third party, external third party supervise us. So we are very like oversee for- Super, super. Yeah, uh, yeah. Supervise. Oh, supervise, yeah, for, for us, for the Nuclear Safety Council, yeah. for other laboratories. So. It's very, very, very strict and, and um, we are mm, dealing with everything and, and we are doing very good. What would you say to the people uh, and, you know, all these environmentalists, they are concerned about, uh, um, you know, everything that could go wrong or the environment. What, what would be your message to them? I mean, my message is like, um, we are doing everything that is required. Um, we are taking measurements before, we will be taking the measurements during the operation, during the construction, and we will be taking me measurements after we finalize all the mine activities. So 
like in any point of the process, we are controlling um, the risk. Um, not just us, the government. Um, I mean, even the, the, the population can do it because we have um, some, for, for example, for the dust, we have some dust control points in the, in the population and they can have the results and they can have the results now and they, can, and they will have the results later. So they can compare and if they see something wrong, they can, they can say, hey, we have something wrong here. Yeah. So the, the people itself can control us. So, I mean, if I can control something, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So it's not just that's blind just for us. The, the things we do, it's open. It's open for, for the municipalities. It's open for the government. It's open for, for everyone. So, um, I mean, we are taking care. We do more than they require. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we, we have to be um, calm that everything is going to be correct. And if not, we will take the measurements because, because we will have the ways to detect if, if something is wrong. And moreover, um, we've been doing studies uh, that, that they are approved for the government and for, for the Nuclear Safety Council that the, the radiologic, radiological impact that a person which lives here 24-7, uh, 365 days, just here and breathe the air of the zone and um, drinks the water of the zone and uh, eats just the meat yeah. of the zone, like just a person who lives here, just all from here, have the same um, impact in, in point of radiological point of view than the um, X-ray of thorax. So, I mean, you go to the doctor and yeah, yeah they, they, they made you um, a, an X-ray and, you and, and then you go out like, okay, I'm, I'm healthy. So for this, it's, it's, it's the same. and it's even lower, much, much, much more lower than the environmental now, because I mean, Salamanca has uranium and the radiological background is very high. So what we are going to create is like 5% of what we are doing now. So, um, I mean, now it's like, imagine like three millisievert is like what it's called, and we are going to create 0 0.15. So, um, I mean, people who, who lives here, they, they have that background, you know, and they have already deal with the with the, with the um, radioactivity itself because radioactivity is in, in the nature. So it's not something like Berkeley is going to create. It's something that it's already here or people which um, fly in a plane, they, all, they receive um, as well um, radioactivity or you know it's something like it's it's normal it's not it's it, yeah normal. yeah it's it's normal it's natural it's not, not going something that berkeley is going to to create so um i mean what i say people is like they they can control us and at the, at the moment like someone can control can, can control me i mean it should be shame yeah, it shouldn't be yeah, yeah it's it shouldn't be worried yeah uh, so i mean and, and and we are doing okay and we are we have all the permits and you know, we do more than, than required and, you know. Okay. Christina, you are also a mining engineer by background, yeah. correct? Yes. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Zone 7, you know, the additional drilling that you are going to do to increase uh, um, the deposit and the reserves yeah. uh, of the project. Would you, mi would you mind to comment on it? Yeah, I mean, it's not my, my, my area, but of course, like, Zone 7 is an amazing, an amazing deposit. Um, it has a really, really high um, grade. Um, the, um, the ore is really superficial and the, the, it, it's in a, in, in a mineral that the, the, the leaching is very, very simple or very, very fast. Um, the, the consumption of the acid is, is very low, so that makes a deposit from the point of view of, of mining and from the point of view of, of, of treating the mineral very, very attractive. Um, I mean, higher standard like in red or tea are going to be made and are going to be follow and are going to be meet uh, and you know it's it's an, an amazing deposit um, and and you know I think it's a good opportunity for well, what could be the potential in those additional zones in those additional area of zone seven in in terms of, of pounds or in terms of um, grade and pounds yeah I mean I think grade is 
double than in, in, in Red Tortillo. Acid consumption is, is less. I don't know if how much less, but I know it's less. So, the, the, um, of course, the, the benefit you, you, you have from something that have double um, grade and less of um, consumption is, is it's amazing, you know?